Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today we are going to see the top 10 career options for microbiologists abroad. So if you are a microbiologist and you want to go work abroad or you are a microbiologist abroad, then what are the different career options that you can choose from um, you know, being a microbiologist. So that's what we're going to see. I'm Dr. Vaishali, academic specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. Come, let's explore the topic. So the first career option that we're going to talk about is being an academic researcher. So this is nothing but you'll be working uh, with the colleges or the universities, right? So it's it's mostly based on the study and research as well. You'll be researching in, uh, doing research in the labs and you'll also be involved in publishing papers or book chapters, etc. So apart from research, you'll also be involved in teaching and supervision of the students, right? So that will be your, um, you know, primary objective when you're working as an academic researcher in any college or, a, or in university. And there are different types of academic researchers that we can see. Uh, you can either be a PhD student or a researcher. You can be a postdoctoral research associate. You can be a research associate or a fellow. Or you can also be a higher educator, lecturer or professor, assistant professor, etc. So these are the different posts that you can aim at when you're working as an academic researcher, right? So if you're into microbiology, then yes, your research can and your research and your teaching topics can be related to microbiology in the academic setup, right? So that is the first option that I had for you. The second option is, of course, being a microbiologist itself, that is working in your core uh, uh, core. Uh, you know, sector itself. That is, what will you be doing as a microbiologist? So the different uh, sectors that you can enter into as a microbiologist is, microbiologist is health. So in health, obviously, you will be, um, you know, uh, attached to either hospital or clinics or research institutes where you will be reading the or you will be researching about the uh, you know the, the micro micro uh, organisms that are involved in causing the health uh, causing diseases so you'll be uh, studying about uh, the causative agents about what are the symptoms and how can you prevent it and how can you treat it so such things you'll be studying with respect when you're talking specifically about the health right if uh, or you can even enter the environment you can be an environmental microbiologist where you'll be dealing more uh, about how to use microorganisms for um, you know having a greener environment <clears throat> say for example uh, if you're talking about sewage treatment plants so how can we how can we use microorganisms uh, can we recombine can we do a recombinant microorganism so that its effectiveness will be more so such research or such uh, implementations or applications you'll be working with the third is about the climate right the next is food and agriculture so in food and agriculture you'll be uh, majorly talking about in food you'll be talking about or you'll be searching about the safety of the food, right? Or uh, how, uh, you know, you can add a few microorganisms in, uh, you know, the food processing, right? Say, for example, in bread making or in brewery industry. So such things or in fermentation as well, right? So that is with respect to food industry. In agriculture as well, yes, we have, uh, you know, used a lot of, for example, Bt cotton, Bt um, crops etc so such things so we use uh, microbiology in agriculture as well so yes these are the different sectors that you can be working if you are a microbiologist then so what will you be um, primary what will be your primary work you'll be monitoring identifying and tracking of microorganisms right so that will be your uh, primary objective and you will also be involved in developing new techniques products and processes in all of these sectors in whichever sector that you're working in so this will be your uh, you know the next objective that you you will be doing right so that is what is uh, with respect to a microbiologist now what is the third career option if you are a microbiologist the third is being a pathologist that is uh, doing all the assays and uh, um, 
blood assays and tissue assays uh, for a patient, right? So yes, so you will be involved in diagnosing and treating the diseases. You, uh, you will also be involved in evaluating the effectiveness of the treatment that has been given. The third is you can, you will be a medical microbiologist, right? You can, you can either be a medical microbiologist or you can also be a virologist. So in medical microbiology, you will be involved with, um, say, bacteria bacteria and parasites etc but in virology mostly uh, it, it, it focuses only on viruses and it needs a specialized study in itself for being a virology right so apart from this you can also be um, you know involved in transfusion science so in transfusion science uh, what we need to say is about uh, the donors the bl blood uh, the donor and the recipient um, uh, you know compatibility so such studies also you will be doing in the transfusion science uh, second is histopathology studies that is if you'll be studying the the tissues right the tissues of the patients so when you're studying about the tissues of the patients when you're evaluating and examining such tissues right then you will be working with histopathology the next is molecular pathology where you'll be involved more on the genetics part of pathology or of uh, microbiology right so this is what will be the role of a pathologist uh, so if you finished your microbiology you can also be working in pathologist and pathology uh, is in great demand in hospitals and clinics right so that is with respect to pathology the fourth point that i have is food technologist right so what do we have in food technologist <clears throat> What will you be doing? So you will primarily be, uh, you know, involved in development and manufacturing process, uh, manufacturing the processes as well as the recipes of the food, right? So, yes, uh, and you should also be uh, involved in the safety of the products. That is, um, if at all, uh, because most of the food gets spoiled because of microorganisms. So yes, uh, if you are from the microbiology department, you can be very well placed in this particular category that is uh, looking at the safety of the product. So what is the microorganism that has caused uh, the product to uh, spoil and what can be the steps that you can take to preserve that product, right? So such steps you can take uh, as a part of your work. The next is um, you should you can also be involved in taking care of specific standards um, uh, that has to be followed to maintain the quality or what we call the quality analyst or the quality control specialist, right? So you can be involved in um, such a role as well as a, in the food industry. Fourth is you can also be involved in modifying the products. That is, say, for example, you want to get... Um, a diabetes specific product food product or uh, you want to get a sugar free product so such uh, products such specific products that you want to modify and to bring it to the customer right so such um, research also you can be doing the next is solution to production issues so it's not just the research that you can do you can also be involved in the production because they might be facing a lot of uh, um, you know problems while uh, doing the production so yes you can be involved in the production space as well and you can help give them solutions so that is with respect to a food technologist the next uh, the fifth uh, option career option that I have for you is a pharmacologist now what and what will a pharmacologist be doing so as a pharmacologist or as a microbiologist who has entered the pharmacy industry pharmaceutical industry so you will be involved in um, making or researching about new and better medicines to get new and better medicines not just newer medicines but also improve the effectiveness and safety of the existing medicines right so that will also be one of your objective if you are a pharmacologist right so one is newer medicines as well as uh, you know, improving the effectiveness and the safety and the quality of the existing medicines. Second, you might also be involved in studying about the reaction of certain disease of certain drugs in people, like why people react differently to different drugs. Right. So such uh, studies also you might be doing. The next is drug interaction to see how the drug interacts with the body. So 
um, with the body or with the protein that's in the body. So such studies and then of course about addiction or unwanted side effects of uh, certain drugs like why those drugs have become addicted to certain patients and what are the unwanted side effects that have been coming up, right? So such studies uh, can also be done if you are a, uh, if you're into pharmacology, right? Next, you might also be involved in the clinical trial. So all of these uh, new drugs that come up, right, they have to go through clinical trials. So as a microbiologist, you can also be involved in these clinical trials, whether it's in vitro or in vivo uh, trials. So yes, uh, as a pharmacologist, you can be uh, doing any of these roles. And for this, uh, your microbiology um, background is quite useful, right? So that was the fifth topic that I had for you. The sixth topic that uh, I wanted to talk about is being a nanotechnologist. So na being a nanotechnologist as a microbiologist, you can call yourself as a nano microbiologist. So in this particular uh, career option, what you'll be doing is you'll be studying the cells at a nanoscale. So nanotechnologist is nothing but dealing with nanoparticles, right? So in this uh, particular nano microbiology, you'll be studying the cells at very minute uh, level, right? Like at nanoscale levels. Second, you can also be um, involved in the green biotechnology. That is how uh, micro uh, organisms can be used to make uh, nanoparticles, right? So how mi microorganisms is used to make nanoparticles. So such studies also you can be involved in the research. So that comes under green biotechnology. The third is the drugs and the diagnostics tools. So with the help of nanotechnology, you can come up with a better delivery of drugs and the diagnostic tools. Uh, this is with respect to the health uh, side of nanotechnology, right? So these are the different applications if you want to be a nanotechnologist with a microbiology background. The seventh career option that I have for you is a medicinal chemist. Now, what is a medicinal chemist? A medicinal chemist will be uh, particularly studying about the pharmaceutically active molecules in a drug, right? So you'll be more into the chemistry side of uh, the medicine, right? So you'll be uh, studying about uh, synthetic organic chemistry as well as data analysis. So this will be your primary um, you know, mode of using these tools in order to read or study or research about these pharmaceutically active molecules. And you will also be uh, using few computational techniques in order to read the property or study the property of these new molecules, right? So this is what you'll be doing as a medicinal chemist. The eighth uh, career option that I have for you is you can be an ecologist, right? So, um, so especially in abroad, ecologists are uh, in high demand, right? So you will be reading or studying about the abundance and distribution of organisms uh, in a forest or in an ecological um, uh, in an ecosystem itself, right? So you can be involved in studying the abundance and distribution or and you can also be involved as a microbiologist with the microbiology background. What you can, um, you know, help in ecology is you can study the roles of microbes in environment, right? And it could be both beneficial and, uh, um, you know, as well as non-beneficial microbes. So you can be involved in studying this particular uh, role of microorganisms. The third is you can be uh, also doing sampling strategies. Sampling strategies, especially in order to uh, study the abundance of the population in an uh, ecosystem, right? Such, or you can also be doing the impact assessments, the so impact of uh, any activity that has happened, whether it's natural or man, uh, man induced. So, what is the impact? Uh, what is the assessment of the impact? So, such studies can be done as an ecologist. So, microbiology background is also necessary for such studies. So that is with respect to an ecologist. The ninth option that I have for you is you can be a forensic scientist. Now, what do we mean by forensic scientist? So as a forensic scientist, you will be involved in, um, you know, mostly the uh, crime side of investigation uh, when it comes uh, when it comes to the police actions, right? So here, what you can do is you can be involved in DNA testing. You can be involved in examination of minute contact traces. Say, for example, there's a blood sample or there's, um, there's any hair sample or anything. So you'll be involved in studying those samples, those 
those contact traces and then uh, helping out the uh, police department right so that will be uh, that can be another objective that you can do as a forensic scientist and you can also be examining the tissue specimens of of any um, uh, you know of, of of people of humans especially or even animals if they are involved. So you can be uh, studying about these tissue specimens. So yes, um, so for all of these as well, the microbiology background is important. So yes, as a forensic scientist with the microbiology department, you can do all of these uh, work, right? So the 10th and the last career option that we'll be seeing is about being a marine biologist. So as a marine biologist uh, with a microbiology background, you can call yourself as a marine microbiologist. So here you will be studying about the microbes of the oceans. So whichever are useful as well as harmful, the beneficial and harmful micro microorganisms that's found in the ocean and how it helps, how it, um, what is its relationship with other organisms or other uh, living things in the ocean and whether they are, um, you know, beneficially helping in conserving the ecosystem or they are being harmful to it, right? So such studies you can be doing. And second uh, study is about uh, oil refineries. If Say, for example, there's oil spills, right? How microorganisms can help in uh, covering or, uh, you know, taking up uh, those in bioremediating those uh, oil spills. So such studies also uh, you can be doing if you are a micro, if you are a marine biologist. You'll also be studying about the biodiversity that is there in the marine system and the biogeochemistry, the ecology of the marine system, etc. So this will be your uh, objective if you are a marine biologist and uh, with a microbiology background, you can be a marine microbiologist, right? So these are the different options, career options that I had for all of you uh, if you're looking uh, at going abroad and being a microbiologist. So I'm sure this video was super helpful for every one of you. If there are any more options in your mind do let us know in the comment section below we are very happy to know your insights thank you so much and see you all until next video